In this video we want to not just review or understand what order of operations is, <coughs> but also uh, we would like to uh, understand a little bit of why it works. And as you'll see, it is necessary to have an order to the way that we do operations. And I will also try to explain why we choose to do the order the way we want, the way we do. Okay, so consider the following arithmetic problem, 4 plus 5 times 3. You see in this arithmetic problem we have an addition, 4 plus 5, and we have a multiplication, 5 times 3. And so the natural question is, well, which way do we have to do it? Well, forget about order of operations or what you know about it for just a moment. And let's just realize that if we did this uh, first by adding 4 plus 5, that would be 9. And then 9 times 3 would be 27. If, on the other hand, someone else decided, you know what, no, 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 5 times 3, I'm going to do that first. Then we'd have 4 plus 15 is 19. So we have two very different answers, 27 and 19. And so the question is, uh, the question is, which one is right? Because only one of them can be right. So if we were making the decision ourselves, if we, if we had complete freedom, then we could pick either way to do it, as long as we always do it that way. But here, uh, this has already been decided. Calculators use a order of operations uh, that has already been decided, so we have to understand it. And to kind of decide, see which one we would pick, um, recall that multiplication is repeated addition. So that 4 plus 5 times 3 can be rewritten as 4 plus 5 plus 5. 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is equal to 19. Uh, and so that agrees with the second idea of doing multiplication first. Uh, and that's just going back to what it was as addition. So that's how we've our order of operations in terms of multiplication and addition is uh, decided. Is if we went back to just addition, what would the answer be? And so we have to remember then now that multiplication will come before addition. Multiplication will come before addition. Consider the same thing again here with a multiplication and an exponent. Uh, again, without an order of operations, we could choose to do 3 times 5 is 15, and 15 squared is 225. Or we could turn around and say, no, 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 I'm going to do the 5 squared first. Remember, square means multiply times itself. So 5 times 5 is 25, times 3 is 75. And then again, we ask the question, well, which one are we going to pick? Uh, the order of operations that's already been decided for us is based off the idea, well, what if I took that square there and rewrote it as a multiplication problem? Right. Then I'd have 3 times 5 times 5, and I would get 75. And so, therefore, we choose the second way of doing the exponent first, then multiplying or dividing if it was a division problem, uh, and then working the problem out from there. So we have this result here, that exponents need to come before multiplication. Final thing is sometimes you may want to override order of operations. And that's where our parentheses or other grouping symbols come into play. So if on the problem above we had wanted to add the 4 and the 5 first, we could write that down as 4 plus 5 inside parentheses times 3, then we would add the 4 and 5 to get 9, times 3 would be 27. Uh, in the other example here, if we had wanted to multiply, or if we had wanted to multiply the 3 and the 5 first, we could write that down as 3 times 5 in parentheses, and then squared. Then 3 times 5 would be 15, 15 squared would be 225. So parentheses are used to override our standard order of operations. And so putting all that information together, we get what you've learned probably before to be your order of operations. That is, first we're going to do parentheses because grouping symbols are designed to override the rules. Then at the top of the list are exponents. Okay. 
followed by multiplication and division. Don't be misled by the fact that I wrote multiplication above division. They're actually on the same level. So I have to do them from left to right as they occur. They're actually on the same level. And likewise with addition and subtraction. Addition gets written above subtraction, but they're actually on the same level from left to right. And that's of course gives you your PEM DAS PEM does. Please excuse, excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This is the version I've always heard. Okay, so that's our order of operations, and now we're going to look at some examples working with order of operations.